TJ on What if My Hero Academia was um, a gambling anime? All right, so basically, here's here's what's going to happen. Um, basically, you know how everything in the Quirk Society, everything revolves around Quirks, right? And we had this war going on with All for One at one point. All for One basically ended up taking over Japan at one point when he was in his prime. We're going to say that here's what happens basically. All for One basically still takes over Japan like in canon, but something else happens. He actually decides to go on a sort of gambling spree. Basically, he figures that the only way to really unite society at this point would be through gambling. That's the only way that he could really ever take over the world. And so many people would start to get into gambling. He would basically force a lot of people into gambling to the point where gambling was technically legal for Japan and pretty much all over the country as well. Well, not country, but over the continent, I should say. Um, yeah, basically all of Asia is taken over by all for one. Um, everybody in the whole continent just gets into gambling and by the time all might arise, sure, he is able to take down all for one, but the whole gambling stuff, yeah, that does not change. Everybody is still way too addicted to gambling. Even All Might is addicted to gambling to the point where he will waste like thousands of thousands of dollars worth of gambling. Now let me rephrase that. Basically, he could go a night of he could do a night of gambling and waste like tens of thousands of dollars. But he could also make it back up with his hero career at the same time. Even speaking of heroes, many of them are actually addicted to gambling as well in this universe. Many heroes and villains alike are addicted to gambling, so many in fact that this is basically what is the main drive behind all of them. If you cannot repay your debt, you are considered a villain in their society. And that's how many that's how the crime the crime rate in Japan basically skyrocketed even with the help of All Might. All Might is able to basically put a stop to a decent amount of crimes but at the same time with his addiction to gambling that takes up quite a bit of his time even when he does even when he did fight all for one, he didn't fight him using his fist or anything here. No, what happened was that all for one was basically the greatest gambler of all of Japan. All Might dethroned him though, but that was through just just sheer luck. All Might was seen as strong as well when all for one wanted to fight him afterwards after he lost the. After he lost the bet, after he ended up playing poker with All Might and lost, he wanted to go fight. All Might beat him up. All Might still got the in got the injury. Guess what? Um, when it comes on to UA, uh, many people are just addicted to gambling. Like basically, the parents teach their kids from young nowadays how to gamble, and. Deku is no different. Just because you have a quirk in this universe doesn't mean anything about your um, gambling abilities. It only means that if you were to get into like some sort of fight with anybody else, you would have a better chance of winning that fight and being able to take away some cash at the end. Yeah. <laughs> So even then, like when it comes on to Deku, Deku would basically practice all of his time just gambling since he was born quakeless and he was basically known to be the greatest gambler of all of his um, school. All of the schools that Deku went to, he was known by the name Mr. Gamble, Mr. G, Mr. Um, Mr. Thread, do not gamble with this man because you will lose. That's basically how Azuku is raised up. 
Bakugo is somebody that he just does not gamble with though because of the fact that Bakugo has way too much of an explosive personality and he isn't even all that great at gambling it's just the fact that he was very very strong that's the whole reason why he could never really beat Bakugo in the gamble not necessarily that he was great at gambling not that Bakugo was great at gambling or anything it's just that he was able to use his explosion quirk to basically cheat when it comes on to the sludge villain incident Deku just lets Bakugo die and he just lets Bakugo uh, just um, suffer to the sludge villain because he doesn't have any purpose in really trying to help the guy that is the only reason the only thing stopping him from from getting into UA and how we get into UA in this version of events is interesting because well UA is a gambling school as well yeah yeah I said it a gambling school a gambling school for heroes so the way that Deku does get into UA here is that he has to gamble he gambles against um he gambles against Aizawa, and Aizawa is known as one of the best gamblers, despite him being like very sleepy most of the time. He's just very tired most of the time. And the reason why he's tired most of the time is because he gambles all night long. He's able to make a fortune off of gambling. The only reason why he has a teaching job at UA is because he was forced into it by Nezu. Yeah, I said it by Nezu because of his super intelligence quirk and he has blackmail on Azawa in case he ever wanted to try and quit. TJ so Deku does actually get into UA here because of the fact that despite Azawa being a really, really great um, poker player, Izuku has been doing this for all his life and didn't have to rely on a quirk in order to, well, get an advantage in a game. Aizawa relied on his quirk to erase other people's quirks that would just use the quirks to gain a sort of advantage. And yeah, that's how I'm basically wrapping it up. So Deku does get into UA here, he gambles, uh, gambles against a whole bunch of people, he ends up getting one for all from All Might after he discovers All Might's secret and him, well, having a weakened form. And All Might explains also that, well, he is one of the successors of One For All, if he could, if Azuku could beat him in a gambling game guess what he could have to quit. Deku does beat him here and he gains one for all. Congratulations Deku. Now when he uses one for all for the first time, he dies. The end. <laughs>